to the college ranks. It was a magical postseason run for the Maroons a year ago. As Alyssa Ray reports, Rono College is back at it again on the Diamonds. The end of Roanoke College's 2017 campaign resulted in the most successful season in program history. Despite being the bottom seed for both, the Maroons won the ODAC and South Regional Tournaments and advanced the NCAA Division III World Series all the way to the semifinals. I think we use it as good confidence. You know, you have such a good year, you got a lot of returning guys back. Uh, I think the expectation was just come back and work as hard as we did last year. Honestly, it was, it was unreal. Uh, and now we're just kind of riding that wave that we were on last year. Everyone else kind of thought that it was luck of the draw, playing hot, but we're trying to prove everybody wrong. After last year's run, Roanoke finished third in the nation in the D3 poll. This season, the Hunters are now the Hunted. Strive for more than just third place, where you don't want to be a third place team. I believe we want to win it all this year. So um, that mentality coming into the season motivated all of us. At 22 and 7, including a 15 game win streak midseason, the Maroons are warming up for another postseason push. Coach McGuire credits defense and pitching, but they're also getting some help at the plate with five players batting over 300, including Sean Guida, who's batting 421. He's been a stud for us for four years, uh, but that's, that's what nobody really sees all the work he puts in, especially in the weight room. Uh, I think he's one of the best players in the country. He can do a little bit of everything. He can hit the ball out of the yard, he can hit a double, he can hit a triple, he can butt for a hit. Roanoke's road to the World Series was a memorable one, and with two weeks remaining in the regular season, they hope to be embarking on another wild ride. In Salem, Alyssa Ray, 10 Sports.